What's up, Alex here. Thought I should make a quick little update video for you guys today uh, to show that I'm still alive. <laughs> there hasn't been super much activity on the YouTube channel lately, so I thought it could be a good idea. If my voice sounds weird, it's because I'm a little sick today. Uh, I'm not super sick, like I'm not completely stopped from living life, but I'm not out there playing mall ball today either. So yeah, status update for the project and uh, in the end of this video I will put in some spikes also for entertainment value, <laughs> entertainment purpose or maybe analysis purpose, whatever you might find, find to do with them. Um, what am I doing right now? Right now I'm um, in a bit of a transition phase so I'm actually out here I'm trying to find where I will stay this winter uh, so I'm, I'm doing some traveling I'm doing some scouting of some places and trying to to figure out how to set myself up so that I can be productive this winter and create videos for you guys uh, <clears throat> I'm basically doing that in combination with two other things uh, this summer I worked like a madman. I worked like uh, 16 hours a day. Uh, is that right? Maybe not 16, maybe 14 hours a day uh, for five months straight. Um, unfortunately, the YouTube channel doesn't show that because uh, my stuff got stolen and uh, other stuff happened and I needed to make money back after losing money during Corona and whatnot. Anyway, so, so I had a really a really intensive summer so I thought I should give myself a little bit of time off which uh, I don't know if that ever happens because I'm still like traveling around and, and looking for <laughs> for uh, for a place for the winter and uh, I'm also decided to spend some time writing my book uh, a beach volleyball book that I'm writing uh, I don't know if I've mentioned that before but uh, I hope it will be done soon. It's like uh, a lot of the, it just needs some correcting basically, but it's not the highest priority on my list of stuff to do either. So it's been like on my computer for years. Uh, anyway, it's, it's been nice to just write that book and, and be traveling at the same time because I don't need to bring out the camera, the microphones and, and whatnot. I can just start my computer and listen to some music and, and uh, write down some thoughts. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's basically what I'm up to right now. I'm uh, scouting for a place, I'm writing my book a little bit and I'm taking a little bit of vacation with my girlfriend. I barely saw my girlfriend for ooh, more than those five months, like six, seven months. So she uh, deserves to also see me. Uh, anyway, so there's some uh, good news also. For example, I got new gear. <laughs> So I actually can produce stuff for you guys. Uh, I mean, my computer, microphones, camera got stolen. Uh, I'm recording on a new camera right now. It's uh, kind of cool. I think I'm happy with it. Also, it was included this wide angle lens. I don't know if I will end up using it or not, but it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, creates this nice little effect. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful here, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I have a, have a new camera, uh, have a new computer, uh, works really well, way better than my old one. <laughs> Maybe there was a reason for my stuff to get stolen. Uh, and um, yeah, there's also another really good uh, news is that, so... <laughs> One of my crazy projects with this project, or as a beach volleyball player for the last few years, has been um, I've been really wanting to dive deep into the technical aspects of how the absolute best hitters in the world uh, do to spike. There's uh, the professionals; they hit the ball in very in various ways, different arm swings, whatnot. Um, but I've seen and experienced some uh, uh, some players. Well, actually, so I'm from the same place as, as David Oman, who is taking over the world right now, uh, if you haven't seen him. And uh, it's honestly, it's just inspired by seeing him hit years ago when he was growing up. 
uh, because it was just a different experience. It was he was able to hit from a very high contact point, very early in the jump, very hard and in every single direction. And it, uh, my mind just went like, like I need to. <laughs> my curious mind just wants to figure this out, like how it works. And uh, it's been uh, creating this project has been a tough challenge in my life. It's been uh, some of the most difficult stuff I've done. Uh, f trying to figure out how David does when he hits a volleyball and how other good professionals do when they hit a volleyball has been maybe even tougher. Uh, it's been hyper, hyper, hyper complicated and difficult to understand. Uh, it goes so far. <laughs> like so far beyond oh you need to use your core you need to you know have the stretch effect in between here and and let your arm whip um, <laughs> like it's it's insane how much further it goes um, I remember when I uh, decided that I'm gonna try to figure out how David hits hits the ball I, I told my friends uh, give me two months and I'll figure it out uh, <laughs> this fall is four years later. Uh, four years with, um, I don't know how many hundreds or thousands of hours I put into this mission of trying to figure this stuff out. It's been really difficult anyway. Um, a couple, a month ago or so, or one and a half maybe, I thought I had all the answers. And I actually went ahead and recorded I got my, uh, my, my friend Isaac to, to set me, I set up cameras, I had three different video angles, I tried to even have four, I think one of the cameras didn't work. Uh, anyway, like I had slow motion video angles from every direction and I was going to record like examples of this technique and other techniques for future, um, for future um, instructional videos. And, um, <clears throat> it went pretty well. I was really happy with uh, what I got that day. Uh, the interesting thing is that now, a little bit later, I think I have, or I know I have come up with even better answers. <laughs> it's like a never-ending process. I'm, I'm like figuring out small details that on, add on top of to the old details and it gets better. And... Um, the last couple times I've played, I've hit better than ever earlier in my life. Um, so, whatever I recorded a month and a half ago, is uh, I'm gonna have to re-record it because I think I can do it better now. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I thought it would be stupid to just throw away this footage because I, I did. I haven't edited all the other angles, but I have at least looked them through from, from one of the angles. And uh, it's quite, quite entertaining to, to watch, so that's what I'll put into the end of this video. Oh yeah, there was another thing about this spiking for, I mean, you guys are nerds that are watching this channel, so I might as well explain some details that might be interesting. Um, so during these four years that I've uh, done this uh, called research or whatever you want to call it, uh, I suffered a quite major shoulder injury, uh, overuse injury, uh, because I just went crazy and uh, practiced way too much. Um, which led me into trying a bunch of rehab and blah, 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 and figuring out sort of what works for my shoulder. Um, so for the past uh, maybe two years now, my shoulder has been good. I haven't experienced any pain while playing. And uh, it's been nice, and I thought it was all solved. Um, turns out though, so here in the last month, since I recorded these spikes, uh, I've figured out there was some lingering shoulder pain in certain positions uh, that didn't hinder me from playing, but I was able to still make it hurt. And I think, uh, this has also held me back. It has made my body hit in a way that is not optimal because it doesn't want to go into the uh, positions that would hurt it. Uh, so that was an interesting little thing, mind fuck for me also. It's like 
you might not have shoulder pain. You might think you have a good shoulder for volleyball. But the shoulder pain that is there that your body masks away by doing other stuff could still be hindering you. Um, so yeah, I've found uh, exercises for even more shoulder exercises that seem to be taking this pain away. I actually think I will end up uh, with a shoulder that will have zero pain at all, which would be <laughs> pretty cool since I've had shoulder pain, like not in everyday life, like it's all is completely fine. Um, but in like certain positions I can still generate some pain but it would be cool if it was one day that I couldn't even make that happen. So yeah, that was a little update from me. I hope there was also some value in it in terms of uh, volleyball insights. So for example, one more volleyball thought. Um, the hitting, I used to hit with a bent elbow. Like I used to contact the ball here somewhere. And uh, uh, in the videos that I'm gonna show you, I don't really do it. My arm is, is more straight. Um, but what I realized was that the, <laughs> the shoulder injury probably still made me sort of crunch my body together, which still creates a lower. So yes, the arm might be straight, but you're still not <laughs> reaching your maximum contact point. Uh, so yeah, it's... Uh, it's it's interesting stuff the biomechanics of, of a spike um, but yeah um, that was the update I'm uh, working on stuff I'm working on this project even in periods where you might not see new videos I'm still working on stuff uh, to create the future of this project uh, it is a one-man show uh, so unfortunately things take time Especially when shit goes to hell, when uh, Corona restrictions come and stop me from being able, from allowing me to do what I need to do, uh, and losing money uh, when people break into my house and steal my stuff, uh, all of that really makes things slower. Unfortunately, uh, but there's nothing I can do about that. I can just uh, try to be smarter for the future and uh, continue creating and uh, try to stay positive um, yeah I think that was it uh, hopefully soon I'll have a place where I know I'll stay for a while and uh, I'll be able to set up my microphones and cameras and gear and, and uh, nets and, and everything uh, so that I can get productive again until then I will be traveling around a little bit uh, scouting a little bit, uh, writing my book. It's uh, I, I can't guarantee. I, I wish I'll get done with the book in the next month or so, uh, or in the next few weeks, uh, so that I can release it uh, soon. Uh, but there's no guarantees. <laughs> it's basically really tough to predict how much time it will take to finish up something that, uh, well, writing a book, which uh, I have sort of done, but sort of not. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. It will be done when it's done. Uh, last words. If you ever try to start a project similar to this, uh, which is something I decided to start doing a few years ago, do it w about a topic that you really like, that you're really passionate about, that you really care about. Because shit will hit the fan it will be the toughest thing you ever try to do in your life and uh, you will quit if you don't like it I haven't quit yet I, pl I don't plan on quitting I will pull this thing through uh, and when I grow old I will be happy for it and I can tell stories about it uh, alright thanks for today now let's look at some spikes <laughs>